come here. A little closer. What if I told you I can help you get 100 gigabyte of cloud storage without spending a penny? Sounds good? Then, well, follow me. I've been looking forward so much for this video because I love these little hacky tricks and tactics to get something for free or get something cheaper that you can use by combining a lot of the services. So free cloud storage is really hardly a new concept. Take a look at all of the leading services and basically all of them lure you in with a certain amount of free storage. But as we all know, they're not giving much away. At best, you can maybe expect to get 20 gigabytes of free storage, but on average, most of them offer anything between five gigabytes to 10 gigabytes of storage space, or even just two gigabytes. I think Dropbox started at two gigabytes free storage and they haven't changed that basic free plan ever since they launched more than a decade ago. So. How do you get 100 gigabytes for free? Well, even though you don't need to invest your money, you need to invest your time because what we're going to do is take all of the best free cloud storage players and build some kind of a mega team that works together to give you that amount of free storage. And don't worry, if this sounds a tad confusing, I'm going to take you through the steps you need to take to get your free cloud storage. So stick with me and stick until the end of the video because there are lots of little tricks here that you need to do in order to merge and combine everything. So the most work you'll need to do is essentially sign up for multiple cloud storage services. And to help you save time, I've selected 11 of the best free cloud storage services today. And drum roll, they are, I'm just gonna ran through the list real quick. We have all the services listed in the description box below, so you don't need to take pen and paper to write them down. It's Google Drive, Mega, PCloud, iStrive, Box, OneDrive, iCloud Drive, iDrive, Dropbox, HiDrive, and Yandex. Now, I know, that's a lot. And yes, yes, you got me. It's actually 99 gigabytes, but everyone rounds up, right? It was maybe just a bit more clickbaity to say 100 gigabytes here, so bear with me. I recommend signing up with the same account details or using a password manager to store your details. If you're going to need to remember them all, well, we, we're gonna bring them all under one roof, essentially. It depends a little bit on your security and risk profile, I would say. You can use all the same credentials for each account, but if you use different passwords, that is obviously secu more secure because if one account gets compromised and, or the password of the account, it will not trickle down to all your other accounts. So it's basically up to you how you wanna handle this. And of course, you don't want to be jumping through 11 services each time you want to access your files. And nobody has time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Like I said, there are tools out there so you can see all your cloud storage providers on a single page. And we're going to use what's called a cloud to cloud management service. Think of it as a large park where groups of friends can can all hang out together and I recommend using Mold Cloud. It's my favorite because it's easy to use, has the best design and lets you sync a large range of services. Plus, it's been on the market for quite some time, so it's probably not gonna go anywhere anytime soon. You can sign up for a free account. It does have some limitations, which I'll cover soon, but for what you need it for now, it's going to do the trick. Once you're signed up, you can start connecting your cloud storage services. You'll notice that all the services I recommended are available. All you need to do is click on the logo, sign in and authorize access for MultiCloud and you can access each account under my online services on the left-hand side menu. And this is also where you can add other accounts if you need to. You've got essentially two choices if you want to add files to your accounts. You can upload them directly through the service provider or 
by using ModeCloud. I did experience some issues when uploading through ModeCloud. There are like several uploads failed when trying to upload to my Dropbox account, yet everything worked fine when uploading to Google Drive. It's not ideal, but nothing is ever really perfect when you're doing it for free and when you're like hacking together um, several services. The good news is, any file I uploaded directly to the service provider synced perfectly when accessing it through ModeCloud. So you can expect a little trial and error here, but it's worth it if you don't wanna pay for cloud storage. You can do a little more with ModeCloud than just access your files. You can also use it to seamlessly transfer files from one cloud storage service to another. But remember, I said your free multi-cloud account has its limitations. The main one here is you can only transfer up to five gigabytes of data between accounts each month. Now, there is a workaround for this, but it's a bit of a pain really to make it possible. You can download files from one cloud service onto your computer, then re-upload them to another service through ModeCloud. Like I say, not the smoothest approach, but it's really better than nothing, to be honest. I wouldn't worry too much about that though. The likelihood of that being an issue is slim as we're just here to easily access files in one space, but it's worth knowing what you can and can't do on a free account. I think it's worth covering privacy before heading out. After all, you're giving a single service access to a lot of accounts and data. Although I liked how the privacy policy was clearly laid out, it wasn't really clear what type of access ModeCloud has to your files. So I reached out to them and I was particularly curious if I used, say, pCloud, for example, and had zero knowledge encryption, would my files remain encrypted once I synced my account to the ModeCloud platform? And here is what they said. We do not retain file metadata. So even if you encrypt the file, the encryption will not be retained after it is transferred. Sounds a little vague. I don't know, the privacy policy states that ModeCloud won't send, won't sell or rent your data, which is good. It does, it does say um, it may share your data with service providers that help deliver the platform. It doesn't state what data exactly, but we do know they collect your name, email, and IP address. In my opinion, you're good with ModeCloud. However, I would not keep overly sensitive data like this. It's probably, if you have such valuable data that it needs protection, you should probably go for a paid cloud storage service with real zero knowledge encryption that gives you say two terabytes of data and then not worry about it anymore. So use this as a playground, use it to explore other cloud storage services and load it up with files that yes, you may care about, but they do not give away anything about your identity or have any of your secrets in them. Um, ModeCloud, as I said, it's not a shady platform and at least through them, nobody is scanning your files. The same can't be said about all the services above. So keep that also in mind. And it gets more complicated the more services you add. So it's really something to, to play around with and probably not for really serious work. So that was Quick and easy, wasn't it? All you need to do now is sign up for the services, enjoy a free storage space, and if that's too much legwork and you'd rather pay for your cloud storage, check out my selection down below of the best cloud storage service. You can either read the article on cloudwords.net or watch the video, whatever you prefer. And I would like to know which one is your favorite free cloud storage provider. And obviously let me know in the comments and don't forget to like the video, subscribe, and tap the bell icon. So. YouTube notifies you when I next publish and you will not miss another video here from the CloudWords team. Until next time, see ya.